Hi there, it's Natalie from Line.Arrow again. Um, well, it's not a, this is a show and tell, but not a, about the new digital kit I, I have released in my Etsy store. But I just wanted to show you the, the things I have found uh, last weekend when I went to, um, ooh, what's the English name? Um, it's like a recycle um market uh, with all uh, sorts of things um, mostly items for in your house but um, I managed to find um, well these treasures and I'm so happy so I wanted to show you what I found just well for fun um, if you don't have anything to do you can watch me show you the things I bought uh, this is a book uh, it's from uh, a Dutch um, publisher um, it's of the insect of Europe um, there's even a clip included from well the owner before but there are so many uh, lovely items well, I don't like the box too much, but uh, butterflies. There is a lot of fuzzy cutting uh, that I can do with this book. So that's one thing I found. The second thing is about the mushrooms, also from the same publisher. Uh, Dutch. This is from 1964, and, and the other one is from 1951. So it's not very, very old, but it's reasonably old. And this has all the mushrooms, and it also tells you which you can eat and which you cannot eat, but. I'm mostly in interested in the in the images images of course. So there is a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it all myself. I'm also thinking about putting up some uh, vintage papers or papers you can use in a junk journal as a kit um, in my Etsy store. Maybe in some sort of folder I made to, to make it more fun. But I'm not sure about yet. Maybe you can. If you see this movie, uh, sorry movie, it's not a movie. If you see this video, leave a comment down below or uh, maybe in my Facebook group or fa on the Facebook page. Um, if you're interested in me um, selling Dutch vintage uh, book pages as a selected kit with various items, uh, maybe I can include some other stuff that I have. I'm, I'm not sure yet, maybe some trims or maybe some fabric. But I'm really interested to know if if people will well do want to have these kind of things from the Netherlands because there's a lot to buy in other countries, but in Holland there's not a lot um, where you can buy these sort of things. And I also have I don't know how you call it in um, oh yeah I know the the English word shares the company shares I have two of them. And it comes with a complete set of all numbers. I'm not sure how this works, but I just loved how it looked, so I bought it. Uh, of course, it's um, not valid anymore, but this one is from 29th of August of 1944. So this is... Not very old, but it's reasonably old. And this is uh, also um, a share from the same date, from the same company. It's as a matter of fact, it's this is the three seven three, and this is the three seven four. So I found two of those. Then I also uh, found two 
uh, fairy tale books. They were so cheap and they are so lovely. Oh, I can flip the page. Um, the images are just so gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to show you everything, but there's so much going on in this book. I, I, when I'm going through it, I'm thinking, oh, I can make envelopes, I can make uh, book pages, June, June Journal book pages. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. Maybe do some fuzzy cutting too. But there's a lot of fun stuff. And I love the bright colors too. Yeah, um, these are sweet. The, the, the guy who sold this had, had more. I paid 50, 50 cents, 50 euro cents for one book. So these two books for one euro. It's unbelievable. But he had a whole box of these books um, at his, um, I don't know how you call it, at his booth. But it was too heavy to carry for me because I, um, well, my hands can't carry too much. Then they start to hurt. So... This was all I could carry. Um, this is the second book I bought with uh, different. Um, wow, this is beautiful. Different um, fairy tales. Snow White. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy that I found these two books. And then I also found this treasure. It's very heavy. It's but it's very I love this and the binding and it's um From the first issue that is included is from January January 1948. It's from the Libella. It's a weekly magazine, a ladies magazine. And in those days, this, uh, this was the size of the magazine. Now it's uh, like this. So like this. Well, a little bit smaller, but a larger size. And of course, it's in... Um, sepia not in colors and this is i think uh all the issues of one year if i'm correct i'm not sure yeah so this is number 23 from january and the last issue is Numbers 37 from uh, the 30th. Oh, I'm not pronouncing it right, but it's the um, 30 December 1948. So I think here there's Christmas things, but there is a lot going on uh, in a lot of advertisement and uh, f well, really vintage pages, and some of them are already had the yellowed edge it's 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 really a gorgeous book so this is what i found too <laughs> this is so fun some embroidery um, pattern for children's oh it's um uh, for this this is really fun. And this is a very beautiful lady. <laughs> yeah. Some food recipes. Some um, articles about our um, our uh, family, the, the king and queens. From Oranje Nassau. 
<laughs> we still have this. Okay, so, well, I'm not going to bore you with flipping through the whole book, but I just wanted to show you what I found, and maybe you like it, and if you do, you can give it a thumbs up. But if you want to see more videos of my channel that are related to the kits that I sell in my Etsy store, Arrow, you can uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, so you will be notified when I upload new videos. You can also uh, check out a few show and tell videos about the latest kits I have. And if you like my channel and you're not subscribed yet, please do. Because when I have 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. And the giveaway is this journal. And it has... A lot of my single pages that I sell in my Etsy store included. Also two pages, this one and this one, that are not included in my Etsy listing yet. Or maybe will never be listed, I'm not sure. And it also has things from previous kits that I showed and told on YouTube. And they are included in this journal. And other things that I made. This one I also posted on Instagram and in my Facebook. On my Facebook page, Facebook group. So it's um, a kit with all things from Line.Arrow inside. On the outside it's Tim Holtz paper. Um, and it has a leather spine and a lot of beads. And you can... If you want to, remove pages and add them again. Because it, they are not sewn in. So it's with strings. So if you want to be one of the... Well, if you want to receive win, win, I think it's winning of this journal. Uh, please subscribe. And when I hit 100, I will leave the instructions somewhere down below uh, or make a video or upload this on my Facebook group, Instagram, all the social media parts where I can do, uh, upload these things. And then you can uh, jump in and, well, maybe be the next owner of this junk journal. Okay, this was it for today. Um, well, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Um, have a nice weekend, stay safe, stay creative, and I wish you uh, a very good day. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.